Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech and in today's video we are going to be talking about an incredible and free application for your Samsung Galaxy smartphone which is going to work on most Samsung Galaxy smartphones. So let's dive in and get started right away. Now the app I'm talking about in fact is an app that sits in your edge panels. So when I pull in from the side you can see I get access to my edge panels and this app is known as the to-do list application. You can see I set up a bunch of tasks to be completed and when I click on one of these tasks after I'm done with it it actually crosses it off and sends it downwards okay so if I were done with this task and if I click it that's now checked and it moves down so it is done and I can focus on the remaining to do task so let me show you how this thing works but first let me show you how to download it and set it up real quick so to download this you want to click the link down below once you click the link you're going to be at my website and you're going to scroll down just a little bit under download you are going to click the link once you click the link it's going to take you to the galaxy store and you can see you can download to do list pending tasks notes so just install that and once you install it it is going to go to your edge panels so go to the settings and go to display okay scroll down and go into edge panels make sure they're active go inside and then go to panels right here so once you set up the panels it's going to show up here in this list and all you do is you activate it by clicking on it okay so you have to see that arrow and that means that panel is now active you can have multiple panels this is the one i'm showing right now so that's the only active one once you do that you just access your edge panel handle the handle in my case is over here but your handle might be anywhere over here and you can customize that as you can see so i can make it even uh, look more pronounced you can see it right there i can change the color whatever that's going to be up to you but once you have your edge panel all set up let me put it right here now so now it is over here all you do is you pull it in and you are going to be able to access the to-do list panel which is fantastic now once you pull it in all you do is you tap on manage items now the application itself is 100 percent free you'll see at the bottom here there's some ads but you also have an option to click remove ads and those ads will disappear uh, just by you watching a single advertisement which I'm going to do right now I'm going to be right back I'm going to destroy those ads all right so I watched the ad and now all the ads are gone now it's nice and clean the way I like it but here's my to-do items for the day and I just want to let you know if you want to delete any one of the ones that you added you just tap on delete it's gone now to add a brand new one you tap over here add new item and you just give it a name shop furniture just an example let's say I want to go uh, furniture shopping tomorrow I can set it up today for tomorrow I can tap on add and you can see it is going to appear right here now when I exit this and pull in my edge panel it's right here on the top and if you notice you also have these two bars and when you see these two bars it just means you can move this around so I can move this and I can prioritize what I want to go to the top now this one happens at night time so I'm going to push this all the way to the bottom here okay so when I'm doing stuff throughout the day I don't have to worry about reading 30 pages of a novel but like I said when you're done with any one of these you just check and the whatever you have completed for that day drops down leaving exposed what you need to do still so it is a fantastic application love the fact that it's free and love the fact that you can remove ads 100 percent free now there's two things you want to be aware of there is a settings button right here when you click this this is what i have enabled finished to the end so when i check a task once it once it's finished it goes to the end you do have to go to the settings and actually enable that feature otherwise they're not going to drop to the bottom they'll just stay where they are let me show that to you so when i pull this in if i check this it just stays right there as you can see okay so it's just something to be aware of let me go back to manage items and then the other things that you have here is you also add new items to the end if you want and that's it all right guys any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right?